In this video, we will be demonstrating the purpose of the modification provided by the Talentum UVIR adapter. The procedure for modifying the Talentum test unit to incorporate the Talentum UVIR adapter and how to test the detector using the test unit. The Talentum test unit is designed to assist with performing a functional test without the need of a live flame. We have developed the Talentum UV IR adapter to optimise the output of the test unit for testing Talentum UV IR flame detectors only. We strongly recommend that test units are modified with the adapter whenever used to test UV IR flame detectors. Without the modification, the torch is less likely to identify a known performance issue with the flame detector. How to modify the test unit. Remove the four screws that hold on the plate and the filter that cover the bulb of the test unit using a 2.5 mm Allen hex key. Remove the black cover and the blue filter behind it from the front of the torch, including the four screws and washers and put them aside. Fit the modification assembly so that the seven optical filters are positioned over the test torch bulb and the UV source sits above the test torch on the keypad side as shown. Take the new filter arrangement and, without removing any parts, use the four screws to locate it on the front of the test unit. Gently tighten the four screws so that the filter is held securely. How to test a detector using the test unit. To power up the unit, remove the clip on the base of the test unit, operate the power switch to on, and the supply LED will illuminate green if the battery has sufficient charge or flash if the battery is low. To activate the main output source, press and hold down the star button on the test unit. It does not need to be waved back and forth as it already mimics the characteristic flicker of a real flame. The flame detector is expected to alarm within 30 seconds. Hold the test unit as still as possible at a distance of approximately 50 to 70 centimetres or two and a quarter feet from the detector, close to the centre of the detector's line of sight taking care to point the test unit emitter towards the detector's sensors. Care should be taken to ensure that the test unit is sufficiently charged when performing the test and that its bulb is working correctly. If the test unit is insufficiently charged or the bulb has failed, it is likely to result in test failure or no response from the detector. If a device is found to be insensitive to this flame sensor test, please contact your FFE account manager for support. Warranty is not affected by using these components with the test unit, provided that no other modifications are implemented. The test unit should still be serviced and maintained in accordance with the instructions. The new free issue components carry a limited three-year warranty against defects in manufacture in isolation from the rest of the test unit. Any damage resulting from wear and tear or improper use is not covered by this warranty.